Okay, we just got done Otakon's 20th year, Otakon 2013. It's time for the Aftercon report. So, Steve, did you have a good con? Had a great con. What was your, uh, what was your favorite thing from this con? Um, I think my favorite part of thing of this con was going to Evangelion 3.0 and all of Karu's sexual innuendo. <laughs> it was just some of the funniest stuff I've seen in a while. And it was completely intentional. <laughs> I love people's reactions for it too. Yep. Just like, they just, they played off on that so much. That was like half the film it felt like. Uh, it was truly hilarious though. And it's nice to see some more funny stuff. Especially in Evangelion that's so dark and greedy most of the time. Uh, anything else you really liked? Uh, AMV contest was really great this year. They had a lot of really good quality st uh, AMVs. Um, I liked a lot of the music and a lot of the songs. Um, anything else beyond that? Let's see. Um, I saw some, I saw a couple of good, decent, I saw a couple of animes. Um, uh, one of them in particular I thought was pretty funny was, uh, we watched, uh, Medaka box, Medaka's box, very funny. Um, let's see. No, it's like I think it was all around good. I'm just like, can't really think of anything else more specific. But yeah, I'm just like I just enjoyed out. I enjoyed hanging out in the panels and stuff too. It was a lot of fun. Uh. uh was there anything you didn't particularly like? Like, what was something you didn't like about the con? Something I didn't like about the con this year. Any well, complaints? I it, uh, there, were, there were two times when I went to go see an anime that I wanted to see, and they were both canceled at the last minute. Um, what else? And were replaced by, uh, what was it, another? Yeah, like, for the first one, the first anime out of the gate that we planned on seeing, we went up there, and it was canceled. And they placed it with another. And Jordan and me were just like both, nope, nope, not, not going to go see another. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, want to go see a nice, lighthearted comedy? Not going to replace that with another. I feel bad for the people who got in there late. So I think, <laughs> what is this one? Uh, so what, do you, uh, what do you hope for next year? For next year? I want another good AMV contest. I always look forward to the AMV contest more than anything. I like another good one of that. Hopefully we'll get, maybe, like, you think we'll get 4.0 next year? Or is that too early? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not, it's not even out. I mean, I don't even, yeah. I don't, I haven't even heard of a date yet, so. Yeah. Probably not next year. Maybe the following. Who All knows? Right, another thing that, another thing that I'm looking forward to next year, this is just like, I did not get to do it this year. A mystery anime theater three thousand next year. I'd like to go see that if I can if I can manage it. Do not get to see it this year. We will watch Evangelion instead. Totally freaking worth it. But still, I'd definitely like to check that out and see how that actually turns out. Um, I guess that was the only thing. It's just like I guess like there's like I wouldn't call this bad or good, but a nice little neutral thing. It's just like apparently uh. Otakon's getting moved to D.C. 2017. Not sure how I feel about that yet. We'll see how that all turns out. I, I find it, it's, mostly I find it just kind of weird just because I'm so used to this convention center. I know this convention area. I know how to get places in this convention center. And now we're going to change it? It's like, I've always gone to this convention center. I don't even, just, it feels almost just weird. Like, leave, like moving to a new house, almost. Uh, but we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully, hopefully, if it's, the, if it's a bigger convention center, we'll get even more stuff, and we'll have more opportunities to get into places that usually fill up too fast. Or like more, maybe we'll get more dealers, more uh, special guests. Uh, who knows? Is it like maybe it's this? Uh, is he like you know? Change is scary, but maybe this will be a blessing in disguise, and it'll be something really awesome for later on. Uh. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and There you go. All right. Sorry, recording. Okay. This is 
this was another great Oticon for me. Um, even better than last year. I was amazed uh, there, how little I actually had to wait to everything I wanted to go to. I mean, they handled the lines so, so well. Yeah, they really did in this year. Um, I heard there was a couple of problems, like for wolf children, for like wolf children, but it's, I didn't go to that, so I didn't get to experience any problems mm -hmm. there. I can see the line was particularly bad on Sunday for the dealer's room. Good thing is there was nothing I really needed to get, so I actually just scrapped the dealer's room on Sunday. It was probably for the best. I, I spent enough money as is. Um, what was your favorite part of the con? Favorite part of the con had to be, just so I can get the names right, it was on Saturday, Adachi and uh, Kawakami's uh, panel, the artist from Sword Art Online, was just, it blew my mind how amazing that was. It was uh, nice to hear from the artists of my anime, the lead character designers. I like the fact is that when someone asked them, like, what was some inspiration for, you know, designs and artwork for Sword Art Online was, they just both admitted, like, we played a lot of Skyrim. <laughs> and they decided they were going to do sketches, live sketches, and then they were going to raffle them off. And the, the assistant, the second character designer, you know, finished his sketch really and decided, like, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a separate sketch, I'm going to do a second sketch. And the lead stars, the lead uh, character stars, just like, not to be outdone. Like, okay, well, you know, I'm not going to be outdone. I'm going to do a second one as well. <laughs> it just turns out randomly in the audience, uh, the director for Orimo, uh, Hiroki Kanabe, just was sitting in the audience, like, I want to draw two, so he'd do a, a sketch as well <laughs> to throw up there and he, Oh, shit. I came really close to winning one. I was ten numbers off. Mm -hmm. uh, but that that was by far the most one of the most amazing panels I went to. At any other time. I was really glad I was able to get go to that. Uh, sh seeing anime wise, Evangelion 3.0. I love seeing that on a big screen with a large number of people. I mean, it was. I still have no idea what the hell's going on in that series. I'm hoping things will finally be explained in 4.0. But it's also glad to see that on the big screen at Otakon, because I saw even getting 1.0 on the big screen at Otakon as well. Uh, Madaka Box was also a great anime. I had to see more of that. Uh, uh, what things didn't you like about the con this year? Anything disappoint you? Crisis Heart Brawlers. Oh yeah. The the Otakon video game that I kickstarted. I won't say how much money I, I backed on that. I backed I backed a lot. And to see the game that was supposed to have been finished by Otakon, you know, because they were supposed to have a little, a little less than a year to work on. And now granted I know they've had problems, they've lost animators, but I expected a little bit more then was done. Basically, it's what I, for what I saw is just that you had the, the beta just looks better. Yeah, so it's almost the same beta they showed, just slightly better animated. I expected to see at the very least they could have had one new enemy, but you know what? That's not Otakon's fault. That's their fault. I had no. I had no. Yeah, I realized like. Yeah, you know, that's that. No, Otakon really doesn't have a say on that. Mm -hmm. uh, I am upset with them moving to DC because Baltimore traffic is bad enough and I really don't want to do DC traffic. I'm going to have to do some research and see how I'm going to be able to pull off. I was really hoping they would just do a cab. <laughs> I would, I'm more accepting of a cab because I know that conventions, like mm -hmm. you said, I know that conventions are like the back of my hand at this point. This yep. is like this, I think this is the 6th or 7th Otakon I've been to. I know that convention center well. So to see the move with an internet after the next three years, is that's going to be that's gonna be a little hard getting used to. Yep. To top it all off, once uh, Crisis Brawler does get finished, 
uh, it's going to have the Baltimore Convention Center, and they're going to have it moved to the DC yeah, Convention it'll Center. Actually, so it would all, all be meaningless. Yeah, it's like it's all been for nothing. <laughs> uh, Alright, uh, any, uh, any, like, um, things that you are looking forward to for next year? Things you want to do? Um... You know, next year, I, I, I kind of want to go see, uh, you know, I want to go to a couple more workshops. This is one thing I've never really done at Otacon, is go to a workshop. I'm hoping to go to a couple of, you know, model, you know, the Gundam model building workshops. You know, learn more about some tricks and stuff for that. And, um, I really want to, yeah, next year, I really want to try to go to the, the Sunrise panel. Because apparently I missed a lot. <laughs> so, you know, uh, I went to the Funimation and Animaplex panels were really good. So was Viz. Viz and, Viz and uh, Funimation especially because they gave some good things. Animaplex I was a little disappointed because frankly they only said two things that I didn't already know. But, uh, hopefully you see another really good movie. All right, that sounds good. Yep, that's a wrap. Just hit the red button in the back. Hit the red button.